This DVD deals with an assortment of windows that are found generally on the side of cars and trucks. These windows sometimes slide open, pop open slightly, or even sometimes roll up into the frame or down into straight the straight edge on it. And I know from looking at it here that this is a straight edge. So what I'm going to do so I don't have to cut all the edges is, is I'm coming in. And this is going to be so hard. So here we go. Now we've got for both windows the glues facing us here the glues away from us Just here. To make sure that, of course, that we did trim our rubber if needed. You know, not all the time are you going to have to trim rubber, but if you do, and again, I'm not pushing dirt into my seals. Now I put this in, or put it on, and kind of slide it up, and that way I'm avoiding touching. Uh, anything that I don't want to touch. With Let's the watch film. this next clip. That's a lot different way to tin a I'm wing. Demo window. this one for you in something called uh, old school, or uh, this is the way we used to do it, uh, and it's referred to uh, a lot of times around the country as lick and stick. I'm going to come in here and and push it down in there, and then I'm going to keep my knife at that 45 degree angle. Uh, that's where I cut the rubber out. Okay. So now I'm going to, oh, let's, let's go ahead and come down into this corner just a little bit. You'll find that the little things that you can learn to do from these DVDs will help you close more sales and charge more for your work, or hopefully both. Let's watch the next few snippets on trimming the rubber edges so the window can be tinted. Watch this. It's got to be done, this trimming, folks. And you can see by, by the little uh, clip here that that's a big piece of rubber. But when you're putting this window up, that's a panel window on, on an uh, uh, SUV. You've got to have clearance. Same thing here. This is a wing vent window on a Jeep, looks like. Uh, and again, you know, personal preference for me is I do this window first and then do my roll-up window uh, because I can reach through that window. But uh, a drawback would be, of course, that when you uh, do the the roll-up or, or this. Oh, he looks like he's got something on there and he's spraying it and picking it off. Great. Notice the Good angle deal. of the shave. See, that's not very much film coming off of there. But uh, that's enough that uh, it'll never peel. It is never certainly an it. exception to the rule to remove the window for tanning. But if it fits your plan for a clean job, then put it in your now, plan. This could be double cut. The other window of this car has actually been broken out. Uh, and we're, we're going to tint it out of the vehicle. And then the customer will have it installed. He's making this cut here. And you know he's being real careful uh, because you do not want to etch into the paint. A lot of times, or the trim, a lot of times that film is not actually up against what he's cutting, and he's got his knife through there, and he makes uh, that cut a little bit bigger than the hole, is when he puts the button back on there, uh, he doesn't want to get stress bubbles on the inside, uh, because there's a gasket goes up there on the inside. And if, if he left it just the size of the hole, always be careful. He's got his button in. He's trying to get everything lined up. He's reaching around. This is a hard job uh, for one person. He could have taken tape, maybe, and, and got that outside button in, into position because you'll see they're, they've got uh, angles and grooves in them so that they're, they'll only go in there this one DVD way. This DVD will greatly increase your knowledge and the number of windows that you can tint and make look great. Until your next lesson, remember, practice and practice and plan ahead.